In this video, I want to show you how to add references into your Word document using Mendeley. This is one of my research papers in which I have added all the references using Mendeley. So first you should uh, download the Mendeley software from this official website. Here is the link. Uh, and then once you're done with the installation of the software, you should also add this Mendeley site from Microsoft Store. And this will help you integrate your Mendeley software into your Word document. So uh, once you're done with that, then you need to have, so I've just opened the Mendeley Reference Manager software. So this is the library of research papers and books and different uh, things that I want to cite in my document. So before you can, uh, as you see, the, I've added a lot of references here. So if you want to add any reference here in your Word document, you first need to have that uh, reference loaded into your library. So there are different ways of loading a reference into your library. You can go to add new and then there are different ways. You can directly uh, upload a file from computer. These are specific types of files. I'll show you how to do that. You can also do some en manual entry and you can also import library if you have uh, saved it already somewhere. So now, uh, let's say there is any random research paper you can go and I'll just use it as, as an example so let's say this is the paper I want to cite in my this word document here let's say I want to add it here okay so what I need to do is I need to uh, so so there are different ways of doing this job uh, let's let me just open this uh, this one here okay So this is the article I want to cite. So there are different ways. The easiest way is that you, if, if it is a, a paper on sciencedirect.com, you can do it directly from this, uh, uh, you know, option add to end Mendeley. And once you do that, you need, well, for that, you also need Mendeley Web Importer. Uh, so, you, so I'm just going to sign in here. So the paper will be uh, appearing here as it loads in a moment. So this is the article and you can simply click add and it will be added to your Mendeley library. Uh, most of the time you should be able to find that it will automatically bring you the PDF and uh, if, if you have the access, I haven't, I have the access but I haven't signed it for now so it, it's not bringing me the whole the PDF of the whole paper so uh, that's just an add-on you know feature so you can add and you should be able to see this paper in your library here so let me just uh, refresh this So this is now automatically added here, this, this, this paper. Okay. So if you uh, want to, for instance, if you don't find it here for any reason, you can go to this recently added tab and you can find these here, or you can, uh, you can search it here if you're looking for something. But anyways, uh, you don't need to really find it out, the, the paper you want to cite. You don't have to go to the library and search it here. This is not where you need to search it. Anyways, so let's say I wanted to uh, insert this reference over here. So what I need to do is, let's say, I want to say Alawi et al. And after that, I want to add the reference. So what I need to do is right now, this is the ref go to the references tab. You should find this site with Mendeley, Mendeley site here. Uh, in your so this will appear only if you if you have installed this mainly site okay so now uh, you have to log in as usual so I have signed in and so this is where I can if I, I, I can search for any paper over here okay any any of the references that I have in my 
library, I can search it here. And this is the one that appears uh, right now. So this one I wanted to add. So just select this and click on insert citation. Make sure that your cursor is at the point where you want to insert this reference. Okay, so I would uh, with the cursor at the desired location and this selected, I would say insert this one citation. Okay, now what, what you see over here is I have added this citation and now I'm out of that box. So let's say I want to write whatever uh, I want to write. Okay, I did that and now I'm done with that. Now you see I had a reference over here 21, reference number 21, and this was number 22. You should see that I have another reference. Let me show you what's where the next reference. Uh, this is now 23. You see, uh, earlier this was, you know, uh, 22. So because there was no such thing in between. This was, uh, there was no, before adding this, you see, uh, this was number 22. Okay, so now this automatically changed to 23. If you were doing it manually, you will have to go and change each one of them uh, manually. Okay, so if I remove this one, okay, if I remove this one, see what happens. Now this is 22. Okay, so, this is, so manually does it automatically for you. All right, so let me uh, let me, this was one way of adding this reference. Okay, now let me add another reference here for you in a different way. I'll go to, let's say, uh, maybe, maybe this paper. Okay. And so earlier I used this option, add to mainly. Now I want to use a more generic option, which is the site tab found in most cases so when you go to site there are different files that you can download okay so you can say let's say a different mainly uh, supports most of them you can let's say say export citation to bibtex so let's see what happens so this will be downloaded okay now you can locate this file in your downloads so what I, what I need to do let me show you I have, I have this soft, this big text file in my, uh, on my laptop downloaded. So now what I need to do is I would go to add new and I would say, uh, add fi import files from computer. Okay. So I need to go to downloads, okay, downloads. Um, Okay, you need to make sure that you're not selecting only PDF files, but all files. Now with this selected, you can uh, select this, this bib text file. You can select it, double click, I'll just say open. And see this is being uh, generated now. One file uploaded, one reference generated. So it, it was capable of reading that bib text file. And you can see this is now uh, references added into the library. And then you can load it in a usual way see uh, in your and you, you can insert it anywhere you like so uh, once you have added it in, into, it into your library okay so if you don't see it uh, in your library right now over here you see i don't see that paper right now i added this into my library and it's it's, it's, it's sitting in my, my library but it's not there in this uh, because I need to refresh. Okay, so I would go and update from library. And now I can see this paper. So again, usual way you can go to, uh, you know, so wherever you want to insert it, you can just make sure you have your cursor at the right location, select this, insert the citation, and there you are. If you wanted to insert multiple references for whatever reason, maybe I would say, let's say I was I wanted to say uh, some previous studies. Okay, now 
let's say I wanted to add both of them. So I will select both of them and this is how it does. This is how it goes. So it will add them together. And let's say if, if, if there were more than two, maybe this one, this one, and let's say um, maybe um, let me find just another one, maybe this one, okay, or maybe a little more typical one, okay, let's say this one. So I have all these three references selected. If I wanted to do, insert them all, I can do them like this. Now it would say 22 to 24. If it is only two, it would say 22 comma 23. And if it is more than two, it would say 22 to whatever number it is. So uh, this is how it, it works. So, so the process of uh, adding the reference into your paper once you have it in your library is simple enough. Whatever it is, just make sure you take your cursor to that position, search from the library, select it and insert. Now, the real uh, challenges and the real problems are in how to, uh, how to add those references into your library. So, uh, you see, this is my library. I've shown you how to do it using uh, directly add to Mendeley. Uh, option in this case which is only available if you are doing uh, if, if, if the research paper is on sciencedirect.com if it is not there you should find out the site button uh, in, in that you know uh, on the journal website so let me find go to take you to some other type of uh, journal maybe this one okay so for each journal, you should be able to find out something like uh, site. See, this thing site. So if you go to site, export citation file. So maybe we can say bibtex again. You can also do RIS, but I often use bibtex. So in the same manner, you can uh, again say add new import files from computer. So make sure you select all files and then you can just go ahead there you go one more file uploaded and one reference generated it automatically fills all the details uh, required so this makes your job easy but there are some cases in which you need to do i uh, need to add the references manually okay so in that case for instance, for ASTM standards, you have to do it manually. For this, this ASTM standard, I have added it manually. Okay, so what I need to do is I would go to add new and then I would say add reference manually. Okay, now from here I can, uh, I must mention the reference type. Okay, all right, so this is the reference type. Uh, but before I, I, I use, uh, show you how to you add an ASTM standard to your library, I want to tell you one more way of doing this, adding uh, the, these references. So what I can do is let me show you, uh, take you to maybe any other website. Okay, let's say this one. So there's just one more, one more way of doing this job. So now you can use, uh, you know, this uh, citation option anywhere, cite this article, and it will take you to uh, download citation and you can then just load this RIS file. The other way around is that you simply um, let me show you how to how to do this. Okay, let's go back. Um, so if you just came to this site now, you just opened it. So you can just find out the DOI, Digital Object uh, Identifier of this uh, article. So each article has a unique DOI. So let me just find it out. Where is the DOI for this article? Um, let me just see if it is in the site option maybe. Yeah, this is the DOI. So I would select this DOI and 
I would go to manually library, I would say add new and I would say add reference manually. Okay. Now, without adding any details, if I can find out the identifiers and paste it here and I would say go ahead search for the metadata, you see it automatically picks up all the details. This is the metadata. Okay. So these are, the, this is the same article. See, just make sure it is the same article that you wanted to find. So you see, um, this is that article you wanted to find. Okay, GRG optimized response, and you see, all the details are loaded here. So this is just one more one more way of doing it. Nothing else. Just add, copy the DOI cancel because I just don't want to add this. Uh, now, finally, I want to show you how to add uh, an ASTM standard or maybe a book, anything you like. So you go to the reference type. If it is a book, you can select book and enter these details. Enter the title, enter the authors, year, pages from if it is, if you want to refer selected pages, but most of the times you can leave this empty or you can say, if the total number of pages are, let's say, 600, you can say from 1 to 600. If you just want to uh, add them, it, no, no matter you know, if it is a compulsion to add pages from this to this, then you can say volume, edition, all these details you can add. Uh, if the details of editors are available, but this is usually not available, so, if this, so you can just leave it empty. You should also add CD, the publisher, um, and that's it. So. Uh, let's say if you're doing an ASTM standard, then you better select the option of report. Okay, so you can use this option if you're using, let's say, ref citing an ACA report or if it is an ASCE report or any other technical document, you should you better call it a report. ASTM standards, I can also say these are reports in this, this category. So. I can add the title of the ASTM standard I want to add. So uh, I have just randomly come to any ASTM standard, okay, ASTM C822. So this is the title of the standard. So you can just add the title here. So and then you can, for the authors, let me show you one thing that I have already added, this standard. Recently I added it. So these are the details that it want, wanted me to fill. So I have uh, done it already, okay. So this was a title and I have added this thing in the uh, authors because we don't know the authors of ASTM standards. So what we, what we do is we simply write ASTM C822, okay. Uh, and then uh, the year and you can find out these years easily. This is the year. I mean, you can see it over here also, 2021. And you can add the institution and you can add the city. Now, what I usually do is that I add the institution. This is the name of the institution, uh, American Society for Testing and Materials. And this is the address. So we need both of these in our references, in, in our these details in our references. What I need usually do is I, I add the same thing in the city as well as institution and I add uh, the, the name of this institution and this and the address in both these so I have just in fact added one and copied it here so these are the same things I'm adding here because most of the times I've seen that uh, some reference styles would include the city but not the institution others would others would include institution but not the city so I want both of them to be uh, included in the reference detail. Okay, so you can add the DOI or whatever details is, are available. Maybe you can find it somewhere. So this is the DOI. You can just copy this and add it here. Okay. Similarly, um, I'm sorry. So so let me just copy this DOI. This DOI and 
pasted here. Okay. So similarly, you can find, you can add the URL. Uh, so this is a date access, and if you want to add the URL, it is you know www.astm.org, or you can copy it from uh, over here. Okay. You don't need to have this thing included. This this is the page bit basically. So you want to add the uh, you want to add the website only for ASTM. This is how you should do. If it is uh, other than ASTM, you want to include the whole page, you can just copy this and and paste it here, the whole URL, okay? You can do that. For, but for ASTM, it is enough to copy only the main main uh, website address, okay? So this is how you add uh, an ASTM standard in your references. If you want to add uh, the page numbers, you can do that. If it is a compulsion, you can add the uh, page number as well. Uh, I think it appears over here. Okay. So what you can do is if there are let's say six pages, you can say from page number one to six. That's how you can do it. So uh, and then the procedure for loading it in uh, and say, citing it is the same. For instance, if I wanted to cite it here, I would say ASTM 